Oh, yeah! Hey! Look at that! Look! It's me! It's me! <laughs> what kind of fucking intro is that? I don't care! It's me, you guys, Super Sonic! I'm back with one of these! Yeah, you may be wondering, but, but Super Sonic, what about but Dragon Ball? What the fuck happened to Dragon Ball? You said Dragon Ball! This, this isn't Dragon Ball, this isn't Goku! That's ah, the next best thing, it's Sonic. I just... I recorded the first part of the Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi 3, and I figured it wasn't working out, because I just didn't really have a lot to say. So I kind of, I'm shelving that game for a while. I might do it again, but I'm not too sure on that. So instead, we're going to play this. This is a much, much, mm, very good game. My second favorite Sonic game, in my opinion. We're going to play it. It's going to be great. May or may not get all A ranks, all uh, emblems and all that. Probably not, especially not because of the, 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 this, this stupid fucking team. Oh, I hate Team Chaotix. But we'll, we'll, we'll get there in due time. Uh, I'm gonna be skipping all the cutscenes because I've already seen them and I don't want to see them again. And this is my playthrough. I do things my way. And you have to deal with it. Them's the brakes, sir. Them's the brakes. So Sonic Heroes, very nice game. Uh, commentaries, once again, is gonna be very awful because once again, it's been a long time since I've done something like this. Gonna do some speed run tricks, gonna look great. So how are you guys doing today? It's currently 7.30 at night on Sunday. I almost forgot today was Easter Sunday. Happy Easter to all you guys out there. This is probably not going to come out on Easter, but still happy Easter anyway. Uh, didn't really do much. Once again, my life summed up. I don't really do much. Currently on spring break. I went on it early, my spring break early, because... I was very, very bright, and I sprained my ankle in gym. I was running, and it kind of just rolled over, and then I sprained it, and it was painful, and I hated it. And I couldn't go to my fucking prom because of it. Yeah, look at me, the fucking nerd loving going to prom. But you know what? Whatever. The thing is, with my high school, is that... Oh, hold on. With my high school, is that next year... God damn it. Next year, I have to, we have to, uh, us seniors have to share the prom with the, with the future juniors coming in next year. They're not coming in. What we already have, what they'll be, you know what I mean. I'm bad at talking, okay? I'm not used to doing this. It's been like a month since I've done it. So this was really the only chance I got to, uh, you know, be with the prom, be with just my guys, you know what I mean? But unfortunately didn't happen because stupid idiot sprained his ankle of course it still kind of hurts like not as much as it did definitely not that shit ooh, I could I, I couldn't even get up the damn stairs that's how bad it was like I had to go to the what ended up happening right is I had to go to the hospital to like figure out what was going on make sure nothing was broken I was sure nothing was broken because I'm sure it would feel a lot worse than it had but I wanted to make sure. So I was there for a couple hours, did what I did what I had to do. And um, when we got back, what ended up happening was my foot was so bad and I could put so little weight on it that I actually could barely, I couldn't even get up the stairs on my own. So I had to use my dad and I had to lean myself against him as like, something that w I could put weight on that so I what happened was I would get on the step and then instead of putting weight on my right foot and the, uh, well good one good one me uh, instead of putting weight on my right foot and like making the pain absolutely fucking excruciating instead I used my dad and whenever I put my foot down I just leaned all of my weight on him all of my fucking 280 pound ass just all loaded onto him. I feel so bad for him. I feel so bad for both my parents because of me not being able to do anything and them having to do pretty much everything for me. Whenever I needed something to eat, they would have to get it. And me, I normally just live off of pizza rolls and bagel bites. So poor them, they had to like put stuff in the microwave for like the few days I was completely out of commission. I felt so bad. 
because it's normally stuff I can do myself and I didn't want to put the burden on them. You know what I mean? But, did what I had to do. A lot better now. So that's been my spring break and I said all that just to tell you that my spring break started early because I was out of school for both days since Tuesday and didn't go to prom because I sprained my fucking ankle running. Running! Like, 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 I was doing a frisbee thing, running to get the frisbee. Not even doing anything extra demanding. Just running. That's all I was doing. And my fat ass fucking had his ankle roll over and trip. I, I'm, I'm mad. I'm mad that it's come to that. That just little things like that put me out of commission for a few days, you know what I mean? I want to be able to truck along, but that shit was just... I feel kind of pathetic, to be completely honest with you. Pro I probably shouldn't, because I sprained my fucking ankle. I mean, what can you really do? But, still. Don't know. Just wish I could have done more in that time, instead of having to rely on my parents for everything. Lazy bastard, you know what I mean? Yeah, happy, uplifting topics as we go through this fucking beach that's joyful and happy. Wonderful, huh? Very fitting. Very nice. I did all that just rambling my ass off and I'm kind of surprised because normally I'm not able to play a Sonic game while talking because it's a lot of like muscle shit you gotta deal with. But whatever, I'm getting there. And I've been doing all this and I haven't even fucking talked about the game at all. <laughs> Wonderful me, I don't really know what it is to say. You got running, you got changing your team formation. Uh, here's a bit of an interesting tidbit. I'm not actually playing this on an actual GameCube. I'm playing this on an emulator on my Wii U. <laughs> let me let me explain, right? Uh, recently, I figured out more about how to homebrew my Wii U. I did it before, but I didn't do it to the same extent that I that I did it like a uh, few days ago while I was out of commission. Well, not, not while I was out of commission. It was a bit after that. But basically, I figured it out. Figured out, hey, there's a GameCube emulator. Figured out that, hey, when I try to record GameCube, GameCube looks like fucking shit. So I didn't want to do stuff that way. Deci figured out, hey, my PC can't really handle Dolphin because my PC's really shit. So I figured, hey, this is the next best way. And boy, howdy, am I glad I'm able to do this? Cause not a this looks incredible to me. Like. You don't need, you don't really know unless you watch some of my streams just how bad GameCube looks under composite video and with like a upscaler to HDMI so that my Elgato can record it. But this is just a huge step up to me, especially since when you do a when you do a ROM or an ISO apparently, it automatically asks you if you want to switch into progressive scan mode, which whoa Nelly it's quite the difference. Let me tell you, I will probably never go composite again if I ha if I can help it. Right. Well, I'm probably gonna have to help it because uh, I can't. I these GameCube ISOs take up quite a bit of space. I do, granted, have a 32 gigabyte SD card that I'm using, so it can probably hold like 20 games on it. But considering the other stuff I want on my Wii U Homebrew, it's ooh. It takes up shit. You'll also notice that with emulation, if you've played Sonic Heroes before, it's actually helping it load a lot faster than it normally would. Normally it takes like probably close to 10 seconds to... to like... <laughs> to load everything. Sorry, I'm kind of losing my train of thought here, concentrating on this. But... Really... It's... Ooh, on here it's a big difference. The only thing I can really compare it to is, uh, earlier this year, no, nah, I think, actually it might have been last, yeah, it was, it was late last year. I actually also homebrewed my 3DS, because I figure, I only really homebrew consoles when they're getting near the end of their, like, lifespan. So Switch I'm kind of holding off on, especially since I can't really do it yet, because I can't get the materials necessary for it. But, I got kind of, what is Amy doing? <laughs> I, did, I just noticed, what the hell's Amy doing? Uh, anyway, I keep getting off topic. 
I homebrewed my 3DS, and this is, but the homebrew 3DS, I know I'm just rambling on all kinds of different topics at this point, and kind of, the game's kind of just background noise to my rambling, pretty much, so I apologize if you were looking for something, like, concrete, more like, hey, we're gonna talk about the game, and game things, nah, that's not me, fam, I apologize, but, uh, the 3DS homebrew has this thing called, uh, a Twilight Menu. And basically what the Twilight menu is, is it's like this DS emulator sort of hybrid that was built for the DSi but also works on 3DS. What happens is, right, you get just DS ROMs and you play them and, it's, and it works great. You will never play Pokemon Platinum the same again once you play it on that emulator. It saves so fucking quickly compared to the original game, it's like a few seconds. Maybe not even that. It's it's so good. That's the only thing I can really compare this this thing to. It's like such a big difference compared to how it would normally load that I don't think I'm ever going to go back. Granted, I haven't seen the whole game yet. This is like my first playthrough doing it on an emulator like this. So, for all I know, there could be horrible graphic glitches that occur as soon as I start saying this. But, you know, if it does, then oh well. I'll have eaten my words. Whatever. Thank you, Spring. I was totally aiming for you. And not the big ol' fucking cannon here. Definitely. But yeah, Wii U homebrew. I'd say it works quite quite nicely. It looks quite good. Like, honestly, look at how good this game looks. And I'm probably gonna get into this more as the series goes on. I fucking love this game. It's my- I said it before, it's my second favorite Sonic game. And I don't understand how people can hate it. It's just... It's so damn good in my opinion. So damn good. Actually, this was actually... Because I actually got all of my GameCube Sonic games, like, pretty much in a row. Except for Mega Collection and Gems Collection. I got those separately. But I believe it was this. Adventure 1, Adventure 2, and Shadow. When I first got my GameCube, I only got it with Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. So the day after Christmas, we went to GameStop. This was back when my GameStop still had physical GameCube games that they sold. But basically, we went there and they had a whole bunch of GameCube games. And I was kind of, this was when I was kind of starting to get into Sonic. I was a fan of him. I had Secret Rings before I had any of the GameCube games and I really loved that one too. And, uh... This, it really got me into Sonic, because I had, like, those, I saw those games, I'm like, one of them, all of them. I had a whole bunch of money saved up, and I got all those games. That was an afternoon, dude. I just blew through all those games. Didn't, com I didn't beat all of them, obviously. Oh, by the way, cutscene. Sounds kind of gravelly, Eggman's voice does. I'll show you a thing or two. Oh, that hurts my throat trying to do that. Anyway, uh, obviously I didn't beat all the games. That would be a bit ridiculous but I did play play them I did because and there's a lot of stories I could get just by going through my first play through that afternoon of those games Sonic Heroes in particular for some reason I just couldn't beat Power Plant with uh, any of the teams except for 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 uh, Team Rose Team Chaotix was a different story because I got stuck on Tr Grand Metropolis doing that we'll get to that when we get to that but every other team, I just couldn't beat Power Plant. S team Sonic and Team Dark, it was just beyond me, beating beating Power Plant. And I couldn't understand it. I just, it was such a long, it was the first, it's the first long level of the game. I think that's what got me. And that, plus, I was like, what? Eight years old? Nine years old? I, my skills, my epic gamer skills hadn't quite matured as much as they have now. But definitely a thing yeah i got all these games in like a little row and i guess that's how i've developed my love for them no doubt about it my heart is never wrong hmm cool it it's never wrong until sonic 06 and sonic unleashed yeah those two it's never wrong until them where you mistake another hedgehog for sonic even Sonic Adventure 2. Sonic Adventure 2. Your heart was wrong. Ooh, ooh. And how about the part where in Sonic 06, I'm seriously not making this up. You can look up the cutscene for this on YouTube. When Amy finds Silver... 
literally, when he goes in to hug him, thinking he's Sonic, he literally grabs him in his crotch area while he hugs him. Again, not making this up. You can look it up. It's real. It happened. So, good times, Amy. Good, good times. Your heart never wrong? Definitely. 100%. Can't be, can't be fooled. 100%. Pretty nice. And it's at this point where I've officially run out of things to talk about. So, let's gush about the game for a bit. Perhaps. Shall we? This game, very nice. Very good. Uh... The first level was kind of, I guess, iffy. Gets you into the swing of things real nice. I like it. It's alright. Pretty nice. Oh my god. <laughs> don't. Oh boy. This level, I kind of don't like. Mainly because it just feels a bit iffy. And no matter what team, each team probably goes about the same length. Except maybe Team Rose. Team Rose might be a little shorter. It's definitely the longest Team Rose level, in my opinion. And it just feels like it goes on a bit too long. Like when you're in the indoors areas, they feel a bit samey. Just corridors. Same corridors, no real changes. And I hate it, and I hate it, and I hate it. <laughs> so not my favorite level of all time. For the love of God, Big! Was that my Wii U gamepad joystick doing that? And yes, I'm playing this with the Wii U gamepad. Yes, I could potentially look at this on both the TV and the Wii U gamepad. And even better, now that I have it on homebrew, and since the Wii U is so close to my bed, like, it's literally right across the wall, so there'd be no issue when it comes to, like, com connection issues and stuff. Literally, I could just lay down in my bed and play this game. I'm not even joking. I can... It's like portable GameCube where I can just lay down in my bed and play GameCube and have a portable screen to play it on. It's so nice and so far there hasn't even been a hitch. Like, I don't think there's even been a, a stutter once while I've been playing this so far. And I'll, again, you can correct me on that if you see anything during the recording, but holy shit, this is so good. Foo. I almost just lost all my rings there. That would have been kind of devastating if I was going for the A rank. Probably not, though, because A ranks for Team Rose are pretty easy to get. It's the other teams where it gets kind of difficult. And again, I don't think I'm going to be going for 100% uh, because A, I've never done it. B, getting all A ranks for everything gets really, really difficult. Especially when it comes to Team Chaotix. Fuck Team Chaotix. And see, the secondary missions are also really hard, especially when it comes to Team Chaotix. Fuck Team Chaotix. We're gonna get a lot more into why fuck Team Chaotix when we get to Team Chaotix. The other teams I find pretty fun, but Team Chaotix is just pretty much the exact opposite definition of fun in every single way to me. And I hate Team Chaotix. And you're gonna hear me say it all the time, every time. I hate Team Chaotix. Fuck Team Chaotix. We're gonna get there. The rest of the game is worth it, though. It's worth dealing with Team Chaotix shenanigans. I did not want to do that. I just wanted to get the damn big level up. I really like the level up system in this game, mainly because, yeah, you start off weak, and yeah, you don't, uh... You, you don't hit enemies and kill them in one hit like you would in other games. And yeah, I feel like that's what it should be. You should just hop into enemies once and that's it. But the level up system is very rewarding because you start off so weak and then by the end you just build up to be this powerhouse that can kill everything in one hit. You have not lived until you've seen a flying type character's level 3 Thundershoot. It's so powerful and so broken and I so love it. It's it's great. You probably saw it a few times when I was playing when I was playing in the background of my rambling like I usually do. But it's it, it just it just blows things up. It's just anything that's standing in the way of that level three thunder shoot, given that it isn't something metal and that is impervious to everything that isn't power type characters, will just crumble into a ball whenever hit by it. It's so good. 
Just like this game. So good. And I will never under- Ouch. I will never understand why people don't like this game. Now, of course, you y'all can probably tell me in the comments why you don't like this game, and I'm sure there are very valid reasons that someone wouldn't like this game. Let me go to a point of contention that I can give. A lot of people don't like the controls because they're very slippery, and they can be get hard to get used to, like Shadows. Shadow of the Hedgehog's control is that one I understand less, and we'll get in. I'll get into that maybe if we ever play that game. I don't think we will, at least in a SS 1014 place format. That'll probably be more of a stream thing. But this one I can kind of get because the acceleration is so through the fucking roof that it's kind of insane. Especially in the special stages. Holy shit! Sometimes even I can't control it. But. I don't know. I was just able to get used to it, and it feels really exhilarating going fast and just beating things up and keeping the pace going, you know what I mean? I feel like this is the best Sonic game in terms of getting the getting a flow and keeping the flow, because if you get those levels up, nothing will feel better. Nothing will feel better, I can guarantee it. You keep that flow going, man. It's so good, dude. This game's so good. I know, I'm, I'm repeating myself at this point, and I'm sorry, but... Again, I'm kind of running out of things to talk to here, talk about here. After this level and after the next boss, I think I'm gonna stop this episode. Definitely, compared to Mario 64, these videos are prob- Again, I'm probably gonna eat my words later, because they probably won't be shorter. But, at least I- Come on, Amy. At least I want them to be shorter. Just because I don't think I'll have as much to talk about in a linear, get-to-the-end sort of game rather than a open-ended, okay, let's go get all these 120 things and just go to town with it sort of thing, you know what I mean? I feel like there's less to talk about here than there would be in Mario 64. Again, could be entirely wrong on that, especially since I've been able to hold a conversation with myself for like 23 minutes so far. But, I don't know. I'm probably about to be shut up in a second because I really am running out of things to talk about. And I'm really grasping for straws here. Because I once again suck at commentary and suck at life. Guys, isn't life grand? Okay, really? I forgot. I'm, I'm only level 1. I thought it was level 3. It is Cream that's level 3. Oh, man. I thought I was going to make that. I didn't even know you could, like, see through the wall at that bit. But I guess because the game doesn't- the camera doesn't really know how to react in some situations. That happened. It was nice. I didn't see it before. Calm your ass down, game. Or more- I guess I should more say cream and everything. So... I'm definitely 100% gonna need to get the, uh keys because they give me chaos emeralds and chaos emeralds get you to the last story and i'm kind of iffy on the special stages because the special stages are let's let's put them mildly they're hard to control and sometimes things go wrong and you don't feel like it's your fault and sometimes it just flat out isn't your fault because you can't control shit and it goes so fast but but i don't know they're easy enough until, like, the last two or the last three. The last one especially could suck my dick, honestly. That, I'm, I'm lucky I beat that with Team Chaotix when I got the key for that one, because holy shit, dude. They throw so much at you, and if you don't get close to that emerald in the first 15 goddamn... Sure, in the middle of the special stage, there is a point where they throw a whole bunch of those star spheres at you, and you build a whole bunch of boosts. But at that point... It might already be too late, and you might have already thrown your chances in the garbage because of how shit you were, you know what I mean? See, that 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 was easy. That one was easy, because it's like you have very little shit to dodge, they give you plenty of spheres, and it's just a straight shot, and you get it within the first, like, ten seconds. But in later ones, they throw all these bombs at you, and they throw all this shit at you, and you have to be just ready to go, ready to dodge. Like, okay, baby, here it comes. Amy, knock it off! Also, we're gonna finish- we're gonna do this in like 10 seconds. Maybe. Oh yeah, we got it. 
No, we don't. Not in 10 seconds. I'm gonna not get the A rank on this one. In fact, I'm gonna restart because I want to get the A rank. It's so easy to do. But I'm used to, like, Team Sonic's version of this where you just immediately... Okay, they immediately go over there. Okay, cool. And now it's just a matter of... Spam. That's not spamming. I'm gonna get this. Uh, this is normally so easy. You have to jump and tornado and just aim it a certain way and they just... Eat a dick. Oh, bye. Sonic just ate a cock. <laughs> and now we're done. <laughs> I, I just saw Sonic go off the edge over there. I'm like, okay, it's no, it's not over. Eat a dick. I don't think I got the A rank though. Okay, yeah, I did. I was remembering it wrong. Thought you had to get it under 15 seconds. I guess it's under 20? 30? I don't know. I don't remember. All I know is that I got it and I don't have to worry about it ever again. That's a nice feeling, bruh. That's a nice feeling. So cutscene, but we're gonna immediately dip out of the cutscene after it's over. A cock. Uh, <laughs> a dick. You won't be doing that today, Amy. Uh, but yeah, Sonic Heroes, really fun game. Hopefully, I'll be able to do it. And, ever, and hopefully, I'll be able to continue it and do it to the end. It's going to be a good time, hopefully. We're going we're gonna to see how it goes. We're going to work great. I might get sick of it after a story. We'll see. I'll roll it out. I play what I want to. This has been Super Sonic 1014. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Bye.